What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. How's everyone doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got a great day of tech news for you because we have stuff that covers the gamut of Pixel Fold, Galaxy Fold, Z Flip, S22, and so much more. Or is there more? Yeah, there is Galaxy Buds, the new ones as well. So let's just dive into the tech news. And our first story of the day has to do with the Pixel Fold, or as it might probably end up being called, the Pixel Notepad, which is again, going to be the foldable phone akin to a Galaxy Z Fold 4 that Google Pixel will be coming out. And it seems like it's potentially already in production, being made and might get released the end of this year or early next year. So let's check this information out. This is coming from a leaker digital chat station who says the rare of the Google Pixel folding screen engineering machine looks like the Pixel 7. The front is a bit like the Find N, which is from Oppo. So if you take the Oppo Find N, it's kind of built like that. And then it, the back of it looks like a Pixel 7. The relatively small sized large screen is folded horizontally inward and the outer screen is centered with a single hole camera. The inner screen has a full screen without a hole and the ultra micro hole camera is on the frame. So the camera on the big screen will be on the frame. It won't be on the display itself. And then on the front screen, it will be centered in the middle. Google's two new flagships are made in China by Foxconn, the Pixel flagship and the Fold. So there might be a Pixel Ultra of some sort. That's what this is saying. So they have the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro coming out, but they also might have a Pixel Ultra as well. And it says the Fold folding screen. The mobile phone is still a 2K centered single hole flexible screen and 50 megapixel ultra large bottom main camera periscope multifocal segment image and Tensor 2 processor self-developed and the Im engineering machine is equipped with an IMX 787 sub camera and a ceramic body so the body of the Pixel 7 Ultra or whatever it ends up being called has a ceramic body. The folding screen is a conventional large screen folding. I don't know if Google's entry will improve the Android ecosystem which can lay the foundation for future scroll screen phones. So a lot was going on here. So basically I'll just say it again. There's potentially a Pixel 7 Ultra or some kind of higher end Pixel phone more so than the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro that are about to come out in October. And then they're also talking about the Pixel Fold or Pixel Notepad, whatever it ends up being called. So there's a lot to take away. I've heard Pixel 7 or Pixel Fold, I should say, potentially might have Pixel 7 cameras or Pixel 5 cameras. I've heard kind of both. So I, I, I can't imagine they're gonna release a Fold without Pixel 7 cameras, unless they try to keep the price ridiculously low, which might be the case in order to get more eyeballs on it because the Pixel 5 cameras aren't bad, but the Pixel 7 cameras are better though. So I don't know, a lot to take away from this. What do you guys think? How does this make you feel? The information we're hearing about an ultra version of the Pixel 7 and also a Pixel Fold. Check out this news, really, really cool stuff. The One UI 5 beta program is now open. I know it's in Germany so far and I believe it was Korea as well, but this is the graphic that you'll see if you go into your Samsung members app and you're able to sign up. It says One UI beta program, One UI 5, be the first to enjoy the latest Galaxy experience, One UI 5 with Android 13. And I checked my Galaxy phone, my Galaxy S22 Ultra, because right now it's only launched on the Galaxy S22 phones, 22, 22 Plus, and 22 Ultra in select markets. I checked the members up at this moment, I don't see it. Once it does launch here, if it does launch out here for me, I will definitely get it going on my S22 Ultra so I can play with it. Uh, but some of the takeaways of what it brought with it are stackable widgets, uh, new material U colors, so you'll be able to easily uh, um, theme out your phone a little bit easier without having to go into Galaxy themes. Uh, they've updated the privacy hub for your phone in the settings. Permission request dialog box has been moved down towards the bottom. Tweaked notifications, so notifications look a little bit different. Recognize text anywhere with opt optional character recognition. So basically within a photo or something, it'll be able to recognize the text in there and you can copy it and stuff. Recognize text and pictures, something very similar. Multitasking gestures are now in there, so those are a little bit different by using your gestures. 
pro mode camera helpers. So there's some more uh, features built into the pro mode of the camera app. You can magnify your surroundings with accessibility options. So if you have trouble seeing stuff, I will usually use my, I'll just go into my camera and, mag and zoom in on something if I can't read like a label or something and I don't have my little glasses. Glasses, glasses on me. I'll go in there and do that. But this is built right into the accessibility options now that you can do that if you can't read something in the real world. Also, you can take notes during calls. This is a little bit something new as well that's built into this. So it's, I believe that's all the new things for the most part that are built into the Galaxy S22 version of One UI 5. Here's something new coming to the Galaxy Z Fold 4. And this is from Ahmed saying, if you put the Z Fold 4 on a stand, to take a picture with someone else and you follow the picture on the external screen when it is open, you can control the dual preview and turn off the indoor screen for more privacy. So what that means is, and I believe this is what it means, is like when you're taking a photo and you have the back screen showing to, say you have it completely open, you have the back screen showing to the people that are getting a photo taken of themselves and then you have this screen, it sounds like you can turn off the screen that's facing the person taking the photo if you wanted to, and then they can still use the camera back here. So that's a feature being built into the Z Fold 4. Last story is all about the Galaxy Buds 2 Pro and of all the features basically that are new to it, that are not, I guess maybe not all of them, but a bunch of them. So let's just go through this list. And it is, they have gotten a re uh, revised design. So the design is a little bit different than it has been previously. I'm not gonna show you a photo just for copyright reasons. Intelligent active noise cancellation that even in the loudest ambient noise can be hidden. So basically, it will block out the outside noise from you even better with this new intelligent active noise cancellation, which would be a big departure from the last version because the Galaxy Buds Pro, their active noise cancellation wasn't that impressive. So hopefully it's been much improved on the Galaxy Buds Pro 2. Eight hours of battery life through the Buds. So that's nothing amazing, but I guess it's something it's the same as it was in the last generation. 29 hours through the case. Bluetooth 5.3, which I believe is the newest Bluetooth so far. Samsung promises sound in studio quality and also wants to offer a digital surround experience with the help of 360 degree audio with which the user can customize the sound. There's also HD voice, which uh, uses the user's voice and is able to optimally separate from other noises in the order to be audibly as best as possible to the person you are talking to. So basically the two takeaways towards the bottom there is 360 audio um, is, is gonna still here. Basically you can have music that hears all around you. Also the quality of the music is much improved or the audio, whatever you're listening to. And then the other part of that is that the microphones are also much improved so that when you are talking on the phone or a video chat or something like that, you're heard a lot better no matter what's pretty much going on around you. It's trying to decipher and give you the best quality sound with it. So that is your news for today. A lot of stuff to take home. And uh, think about it. you've got your Pixel Fold stuff, you got your new Galaxy Buds 2 Pro, you got a new feature being built into the Galaxy Z Fold 4, you have the One UI 5 Beta. So I'll let you guys figure out what you want to say in the comments down below because there's a lot of takeaways from there. Let me we'll talk about what you want and let's get the discussion rolling. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.